to get to a sustainable world is going to take many different technologies. Electric is only one of them, but a very necessary one. The objective is to create a platform that will channel all the change that has to happen. We're doing something completely new, pioneering. The new venture is E1. Imagine the backdrop of a city or of the rainforest in the Amazon or the Antarctic. We want to celebrate an important element of our story, which is the water. It's all about speed, electrification, saving the planet in the most incredible cities in the world. As Formula E and Extreme E want to promote electric cars, I think the next big challenge, to electrify the water. We are pushing the boundaries of technologies in order to race towards a better world. The future is electric. It's not a choice, it's a responsibility. E1 wants to bring electric power boat racing to rivers, lakes, oceans. We want to build a global championship. Welcome to the future. Get on board. Today what we've been doing is to prepare the launch of the boat, the design. My name is Yanni Andriopoulos and I'm the Chief Marketing and Commercial Officer for the E1 series. This is the first time that we've managed to get everybody who's sort of involved with E1 in the same place at the same time and it's great to see the visuals start to come together. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a reality. There's been a huge build-up to this, you know, there's been so much work going on behind the scenes. It's so nice to see all the people and the motivation in their eyes on what's happening next. I'm Alejandro Agag, I'm the, the founder of uh, different startups that have gone into electric motorsport. So we are presenting uh, the images the first digital images of this race bird. And I think it's a perfect instrument for E1 series to capture the imagination of the public and to, and to make the championship a success. I'm Rodi Basso and I'm the co-founder and CEO of the E1 series. I would like not to stick it only to a sport event, but that there is much more. There is much more in terms of legacy, in terms of impact in terms of how we will associate with all uh, our supply chain and organization, important global organization, in order to contribute to a more sustainable future. My name is Sophie Horn. I've been working in the mega yacht industry from the age of 19. You have now firmly, extremely, why not hit the water as well to launch and say out loud to the world that we're going to build the most advanced boats out there. What better platform to go through E1 and showcase a new boat brand as a market entry and to, to have the, the key best people in technology and racing and to use that in the development of future electric boats. Our message is one of sustainability and electric mobility on water, and that's powerful and resonant, especially in today's day and age. Sustainability for us is uh, very important from the beginning. I would say by design, by design of the concept of the, of the championship and also the concept of the power boat itself. I think now that I've seen the design of the race board, what exactly more is how cool it looks and how much it's going to catch the imagination of people, especially of younger generation and of kids. The biggest, most cool thing I could do when I was little, go into a cinema and watch science fiction in, on the big screen and just go into the future. This will be like this.
We already know from the first launch that a lot of people reached out to say, hey, I want to be a team. Hey, I want to be a driver or a pilot. Hey, I want to, you know, how do I get involved with this? I hope that this is the next stage in that. I hope that this really causes a lot of people to go, oh, this is real. There will be up to 12 teams and pilots will compete through time trials and a head-to-head -head knockout format. Our pilots will not just come from the power boat community, but from other sports and sectors such as sailing and motorsport. We're planning 10 events per racing season, with the first season kicking off in 2023 across some incredible locations. With the help of the Santa Elena, the ship which you will all know from the Extreme Series, Five of the races will be at very remote locations, which will provide a real range of racing conditions. The remainder will visit some of the biggest global city waterfronts, which I expect you will all recognize. This will be a truly global championship. The challenges we face now and we will face going forward are many, and many and very different. Of course, the first one, we need to, we need to have electric power boats electric racing power boats. They don't exist until now. So we, we need to build it, it needs to exist. My name is Brunello Acampora and I am the founder of Victory Design First and Victory Marine then. Victory Marine was invited to partnership by Electric Sea Racing and Seabird uh, on the development of a groundbreaking new and disruptive racing concept which had to be 100% electric and on foils, aiming at sustainability and saving the, the planet's resources. Since we had been involved for almost 30 years in powerboat racing, this was a huge challenge because it's a broad change of mentality. We are trying to design, engineer and build a kind of craft which does not exist. This is actually the milling machine who has produced the plug, which is going to be also used for producing the female molds for the boat. This is a static model, and I think for Sophie as well, it's uh, an emotion because you don't realize, we didn't realize the size of the thing until we actually saw it. It's one thing to see it on paper and the model and the 3D uh, renders, um, but we all had the same impression when we came in here. When you see it in real size, it becomes more real and gives a more wow factor. Renault has been very patient, I would say. <laughs> so the, I think that the first time we met, mm. the first words I had from Sophie were like, you have destroyed my concept. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, no, that was good, in fact. That was good, because then we start working really well. She was trying to basically let us understand the vision that you had about the, the, the race bird and seabird in general, I would say. In a way, uh, you can see that this is a new, a new craft, mm. a new way of, 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 of actually flying on the sea. If everything works well, as we expect, then, you know, there's been a successful combination, as I'm sure it should be, eh? It will. <laughs> location like this is for us a, a dream location. It's iconic. You hear Monaco and you immediately think racing. We were here a year ago to present a vision and now after one year we come back with the actual race board. Looks cool. Wow. It's a really incredible moment. It's time to do something our children will be proud of. We want to take it beyond racing. E1 can be the platform to showcase that change. 